Welcome to the Keepers of the Golden Gate, session 24. It is the 1st of November 2019. I am Ryan, the GM, and here are the players. Hi, I'm Callum. I play the human sorcerer, Eric Greenwood. Hi, I'm Adrian. I play Arya Bluebird, the half-elf druid. Hello, I'm Scott. I play Combar, a half-orc paladin. Hi, I'm Sophie. I play Kitty Lickill, a wood elf rogue. Hello, I'm Stuart. I play Reach, a half elf monk. Hello. So, what does everybody remember from last time? Which was a wee bit of time ago. Yeah, I mean, I've slept since then, so. Um... <laughs> <laughs> what was that, well, Kill? We failed to close the hole. You couldn't remember your character's name. Yeah, <laughs> yep, I had to go looking for it. <laughs> it's literally on the Discord. <laughs> oh dear. It's, um, <laughs> it's, it's not even there. been that long, to be honest, right? It's only been... It feels like it's been that long. To be fair, it kind of does, doesn't it? It does feel like it has been quite a while. I mean, I mean, I guess it's been, say, a month, right? There, there's, there's much been going on. There's Blitz Connells, the new Star Wars trailer, there's a new Star Wars game coming out. I'm, like, my mind is a bit boggled. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, have we not had a session in a month? 11th of October was her last one. Damn! Yeah. Know, right? Oh my god. Which is actually funny, because see if you took the date that we've got now, which is 01 slash 11 and flipped it. Yeah. There you yeah. go. Reconcile. <laughs> ah. <laughs> so, this is when everything goes into a binary headache, but never mind. So, speaking of this game. What do you remember from last time? Or what don't you remember from last time? Everything. <laughs> the thing went into my bow. Yes, it did indeed, Mistress of the Flame. Didn't it? I still had the crap kicked out of me. To be fair, last time you got much better. That's you true. You did have the crap kicked out of you, right? <laughs> but you're still alive, though. You yeah, like, oh. you did the right thing. You took the hits for the other people in the party, right? Yay! So, and you survived. Is that what you're here for? <laughs> like you're I don't know anymore. Gomber has lots of confused feelings. <laughs> um, Could be concussion. <laughs> <laughs> mostly concussion, <laughs> probably. <laughs> but yeah, because I mean, you did nearly die. You got to use your orc racial, which was quite cool. Um, yeah, I do like that one. It is like singly one of the best racial like moves in the entire game. Like, <laughs> Change my mind. I shall not die. <laughs> it's so good. I think again. Let's just give it some love for a moment, shall we? It gets better as you level up. So few of the racial traits actually get better as you level up, because whoop, whoop. It, your health increases as you level, which mm. means your scope for it to work increases as you level, which is so good. Anyway, half orcs are awesome. Moving on. Um, right, so we had Crumbar not dying, we had the Hell Knight thing, the suit of armour, um, be given orders by the Mistress of the Flame, who Crumbar helped translate said orders for her. Uh, she said something to the the nature of a 3 or a 4 on your performance check, I believe, which <laughs> resulted in the thing strangely kneeling, grabbing your bow while you're holding it, and then just all of its weird red energy like going into the bow. And then the bull yeah. catching fire and it falling apart and turning to dust. And then and then you shot the bull at yeah. the the big fire. So Yeah. A lot happened. Yeah, basi yeah, basically we couldn't end up closing whatever that big fiery dim thing was, so Yeah, the hellhole. Now we're yeah, now we're just like, oh well, let's go somewhere else. Yep. Because I think the the debate while you were traversing back through the dire wood towards like the other side of it and um, to decide are you going to go up to the other hellhole to check it out or are you going to go back to horizon i believe I, mean, I think we should go back to horizon because we might be able to get an idea of how to close the hell holes there mm. now that we've been up close to one and we've seen that there's like a sacrifice and things and it's like mm -hmm. mm. also means that we could probably get some horses yeah or like a minivan <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, just like, got to like 
whatever some kind of van trading like hire company is. The um, old caravan. Yeah. The the other thing that we had to decide as well is what Arya decided to focus on for the hour journey, part of the hour journey at least. Was it the bow or was it the um, the bracelet? Um, I feel like the last thing I remember you saying was you wanted to focus on the bow to fully attune to it. Yeah. 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 Cool. So, consider if it write this somewhere on your notes in your character sheet that you are attuned to the bow, because. Um, as a player in Dungeons and Dragons, you can be attuned to up to three items that require attunement. So, okay. so that would be one of your things. You can unattune yourself um, to items as well, so you're not like stuck with them forever. But it's a way of saying you can't just have twenty swords and just use them <laughs> like sure. African caddy. Um, if they require attunement, if they don't carry on. Um, but yeah, to. It's one sure. way of limiting per super powerful items. But swords are fun! Mm. <laughs> so are magic bows, D&D. You know, <laughs> with their one magic bow that exists in all of the adventuring handbooks. One. Seriously? Yep. Yep. <laughs> wow. And it isn't the Wait, one what? that she got. Yeah, like out of all the magic items, like... I could be wrong, but as far as I know... There is one magic bow. This is where someone in the comments is going to list wow. you off like 10. <laughs> Please do. And also quote the page numbers in the books um, so I can go look at them. But yeah, magic bows aren't popular, apparently. And I'm like, that seems like an oversight. Why? I don't know. Which is why I made the one I gave you, because yeah. I think it was cool as fuck. Awesome. Um, because, yeah, I mean... Yeah, why, like, actually, why so not? Just magic anything is right. awesome, right? <laughs> magic Crumber, for example. Oh, that'd be sick. You are magic! Can we swing it? <laughs> you could it's definitely swing magic, magic Crumber. <laughs> but is Magic Crumber a swinger? Is the true question. Oh my god. He definitely doesn't pull. <laughs> <laughs> Let's never find out, okay? Um, yeah. Yeah. I want to be yeah. So so Ryan, if you could just add me in as a magic item now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Crumbam, dancing queen. Keep in mind, if you become so renowned in the histories of this world, maybe you become a summon, right? Mm. And then you become a spell into yourself, and it's like summon the hero from the past. Oh well, you got Crumber. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we what didn't say it's like. We didn't say it's one that you would have wanted. We just said that it summoned a hero from the past. Yeah. It'd be the one if you rolled a one. <laughs> <laughs> That's so bad. It's the I one you need. There you go, but... see? <laughs> I hate you all. <laughs> no, because you're number one, Crumbar. You're number that one. That's the yeah. worst. Yes, you're that's true. Number one. Anyway, <laughs> oh God, why cruelty I aside. This is bad. Scott, keep in mind how much you kept everybody alive last two sessions, right? Just keep that in mind. <laughs> yeah, next battle, just like, right guys, on you go. Just sits fun. down, puts hammer oh, on. Fine. <laughs> I'll just be like, fine, I'll tank. Yup, yup. Um, we'll get reached to tank, it's fine. Yeah, right. Stu's never, never hit a deck once, right, Stu? Nah, never. <laughs> Bounced a few times, but never. Yeah. <laughs> it's death with a running start. Um, so, oh, so goals then, right? What do you want the party goal to be this week? I, I'm still kind of good with investigating Mistress of the Flame. Mm -hmm. I do like whoever yeah. highlighted Gate in Investigate. Very clever. Ten points uh -huh. to Gryffindor. Oh, I'm in Ravenclaw. Yeah, but Gryffindor gets ah, points. Ah, Gryffindor's my house. Harry it's Potter's not, not real! <laughs> Ooh. God, I do live in the UK, as if you've never been there. Or whatever. I just love that we're here to play D&D &D and you're complaining about things that aren't real, but yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> uh, oh no, okay. no, no, yeah, if you could just like, subscribe, ring the bell, share, make an extra couple of accounts, add them in too, and then carry on enjoying our show. Thank you, everybody. Carry on. Goals. <laughs> I believe in the song. Yep. I think my personal goal would be to want to learn as much as possible about this bow mm -hmm. right now. I think that would be mm -hmm. a thing for me. And I think as well, like from a mechanical point of view, 
you having attuned to the bow, you know its name now, and you know what it can do as well. I do? Yep, because you took an hour to attune yourself to it through that journey back through the Direwood. So, Ooh. so it was the quickest goal you've ever solved, quite frankly. Oh, um, okay. But that is done. Fine. Um, that's what attuning to something does. It lets you understand it. Um, oh, okay. So you know it's called Forest Fire, and you know all that yeah. tech, that wall of text that it has as well, which is damn, oh. damn awesome. This is like she found, she found like the terms and conditions just like rolled up in a ball beside them. Wait, wait, wait I never said <laughs> this, <laughs> and it's already got a signature. But yeah, so yeah, currently goals is investigate what and slash or who the mistress of the flame is. So, is that your focus? Mm, well, I, I guess. Mean- if we're going back to Horizon, I guess the focus would be go back there and something, um, and seek aid for about Portal. Okay, so I guess it would be I don't know, what learn how to close the hell holes. Yeah, yeah. Um. Or sorry. It's okay. I think you still um, have adva- um, sorry disadvantage toggled for some reason. Uh, cause exhausted and stuff. I don't know if we've rested since and whatever. Uh, I don't think so. But at the same time, you don't have two levels of it, do you? You've only got one. So. Oh. Okay. If it was an attack roll, it wouldn't have that. If that makes sense. If it was a skill check, yeah, you're totally sure, right. Sure, sure. Um, Silly me. It's okay. Excuse me while I mute myself and cough. Hmm. Uh, what's everyone else thinking, goal wise? Yeah, what's the priorities then? You have just went and witnessed a big puncture into hell, a big suit of armour came out, attacked every day, then decided to make a bow. Pretty bitchin'. So. Pretty bitchin'. <laughs> yup. Yup, yup. And then you just went, wait a minute. I think it was actually um, Kitty, what it's like. We don't actually know how to shut these off. (laughs) Oh my god, I just have an idea. What? (laughs) I need to, like, use a bonus action to speak the magic spirit's command word and cause flames to erupt from the bow, right? Mm -hmm. I've decided what that word is going to be. Obviously, if I get to decide it, Mm -hmm. what is going to be in character and in game. I've decided what it is. I'm happy with it. Okay. Um, if you want, you could just reveal that um, when you do it, if you wanted to. Yeah. I'm just happy, sorry. No, it's okay, you should be. It's a pretty well, damn Well, I'm, I'm glad. I'm happy you're happy. Um, but yeah, right now we need goals, so... I love that stairs in command subtitles. Yep. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Uh, yeah, so goals, guys, goals. Um, how do you want to word it? Um, uh, I hate trying to word things. <laughs> well, I mean, keep in mind the what do you want to get XP for, right? So, what do you think you can do in a short period of time to get that sweet, sweet XP? Play the game. True. Go to the Dragon City, I think, where we wanted. So, mm. Axis? I think so. I'm really bad with names of places. Okay, so Horizon's the magic city where Gestoria rules, and um, Axis is the kind of independent city where all the dragons live. And Dragonborn. Well, the dragons and I think we them. wanted to go there, yeah. Yeah. I think I can't remember exactly. I think that was where we were headed from here. If I'm Dragons wrong, please correct. Are quite knowing of things. Yeah. Um. Because they're all. Yeah, mm-hmm. right. I'm taking. I guess that the next place that we're meant to go is near Axis, right? Uh, let me show you guys. Let us go back. Where are we? So this one.
So, these are here. Mm -hmm. And this is where the next one is. And that is Axis. And that is Horizon. So it's not really on the way. No, it's in fact quite a bit out of the way. Wait, which one was us? Uh, bottom one. Use her there, like use her here. Ah. Okay, okay, okay. And then so we're at the bottom That's line. Horizon. That's Axis, and that's the other hellhole. Sure, but considering that we couldn't close this hellhole, I don't know. I don't think there's any point in going to the other hellhole. So might as well go to Axis and. Then go to the other hellhole, maybe? I don't know. We need to go somewhere and get some information. Yes. Just depends if and you just want to get that from. doesn't really know shit, by the sounds of it. She knows <laughs> things is, are well, happening, but I, I don't think she could close them by the sounds of it. If she I doesn't know her. how they're opening, I guess. So us telling her that it could, be have, it, that it could have a ritual involved, because that guy was chanting and stuff, you know, after we was done. Yeah, the, keep in mind that she the, didn't know what was actually happening there, right? She sent you guys yeah. to go learn what was happening there. Use, there's nothing wrong with you attempting to go back and tell her that. I'm just obviously highlighting the fact that she said just try and keep the communication to a minimum. That doesn't mean you say never ever speak to her when it's important, right? Like, I'd say this is pretty important, right? I mean, hell punching through onto the, like, the normal world. The world, she yeah. should die the entry, at least. Yeah, yeah right? <laughs> I we should, yeah. Yeah, uh, like, I, I, th I think a good thing would be um, uh, inform Justoria of uh, the first portal. Right, okay. Or, it's a meta you know, game to say she could at least get past the force field that was protecting them. So, mm -hmm. can't remember if that's meta game or not, but if we have, we find that out. But okay. uh, no, you definitely knew the guy was behind the, like a shield. Um, you knew that from the Abyss and also from that hellhole. Yeah. The roped man. And then, if there is another one at the next one, maybe she can advise us on what to do. Yeah, I mean, there is definitely nothing wrong with it being, as we kind of mentioned earlier, like, you know, I guess learn how to close the hellholes or can, like, bring the story up to speed on the hellhole situation, uh, save Gil from the abyss, you know. Yeah, it's you, oh, Scott. That's I'm that's not good on, to hear that Scott's still alive, though. Yeah. I'm not in the abyss. What? No, you're, you're breathing. breathing. You you will be, because you're breathing on your mic. Ah, oh, sorry. <laughs> yes, okay. So, possibly because you're lying down, who knows. But um, the, the goal, wording, the tricky bit. What would you like? So I think... Everyone's kind of on the same page, roughly, of resolve the hellhole problem, right? Yeah. Now let's narrow that down into a smaller, a smaller chunk that. So Inform just story of how that hellhole worked, but obviously don't mention that we've got the mistress of the flame. <laughs> okay, is that, so there, there's an important factor, right? So okay, yeah. right? So update your story, right? It sounds like she can read minds. I don't think we can kind of keep that a secret from her. That was another reason I, I was thinking of going <laughs> to Mr. Dragons and not just Storia because I Thank myself have cats. no clue about, you know, Mistress of the Flame, but I'm thinking the dragons will not necessarily be intimidated because, you know, they make flame themselves. Some Maybe dragons make flame. Dragon you you to. know, they, they're <laughs> dragons. Um, yeah, I'd totally grasp you into just Storia just saying. <laughs> Damage. That makes sense, though. It does make sense from Crumber's point of view. He was like, "Why does the thing from hell listen to the druid?" Like, I mean, it's a valid concern. Cause it might be somehow nature, you know. By the way, like, fire is not. Fire there, happens so. in nature, and mm -hmm. maybe yeah. he. That's it's a why. paladin, not in one hit point at the moment, anyway. So you'll pretty much say what we tell him to say. <laughs> 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 to be sure, though, you're, you've got a long journey ahead of you to get back, unless yeah. somebody hammers oh, the, uh, <laughs> the map a bit. So, yeah. Yeah. Right, so we've got half a goal, I think, so far. Like, let's refine a bit more. So, update just Doria on how that hellhole opened, right? That's a good start, right? Yeah. As part of it. Mm -hmm. Maybe learn how to close them, if possible. Yeah. And then, the last part, 
are you bringing up the mistress of the flame or not? That's a good thing to kind of have in yep. everybody's mind. Because I would say maybe that's something you want to talk about. See when we start the game. Maybe when we do our long rests out of the direwood, you maybe want to have these... a conversation in yeah. character about whether or not that. Like what? The, yeah, the what's, thing, what's like, the party's next step type thing? Yeah, the thing is, right? I don't think we can hide it from Jadoria if she does her mind reading thingy. So if we do decide to go to her, I might as well like come clean and be like, "Hey, do you know anything about this?" But if we decide to go elsewhere, then that'll be hella cool. Just saying. Also, detect magic is a thing, and looking at the bow with a detect magic kind of power, you would know. Right? Much like if you looked at Eric's hammer, you would yeah. know if you were looking at it with magic eyes. So, nope. so again, she Five. was no either way. <laughs> so, yeah. You look at the hammer and it looks back at you. <laughs> it's just I mean, she's not well given polished, us any reason so far to make us think she's, like, you know, horrible. She's been. Nothing but lovely, so. quite frankly. She gave everybody those exactly. wonderful potions that don't exist in the books. So. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So that's why I'm like, okay. Okay. Okay, fine. Let's go and tell her and also ask her what on earth this might mean. Okay. So, as far as I'm concerned, we're sorted. I don't know about the others. Yep, just something on the word that in the particle for me then. And then we'll, we'll crack on. Want to see not it. That's what got it. I don't really care who it is. It was called Gold Digger, right? It is indeed Gold Digger. <laughs> so, find out what's happening at the Abyss. Let's change that to. Your Gold Digger seems to be significantly outdated. Yep. Yeah. Oh, what, what? <laughs> Your Gold Digger is a lot older than ours. <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> I'm looking at the wrong one then. GG Game Manager. Yeah. And then there's a tab for it down the bottom. It might just be like an old copy of it she's got though, she's downloaded it. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Yep. Aha! Okay, I think I'm in the right one now. I think you are too, I saw your wee icon pop Thanks. up. Excellent. If I run away at any point with no, no word of warning by the way, it's because I've heard some kind of explosion coming from my garage. Because... Are you making meth again? <laughs> <laughs> Two things to cover on that, and we'll get back to it. So, the... This meth never explodes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Again implies I stopped. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no. First of all, how dare you insinuate things on my channel. And secondly, don't do drugs, kids. Do dice. So, <laughs> yeah. the... Are you making your own dice? No, my stepdad I bought I your fate equally random, actually. <laughs> He, he bet, uh, he's making a gate for the, the front of the house, um, like the, the garden. Well, yes. And and you're paying him in dice? Um, no, there is no, no. Anyway, whatever the wording of this goal is hasn't changed yet, so we're only buy, we can only buy so much time, and keep in mind nobody at home can see this, so. Like, I've thought about putting the goal on the actual game sheet, like on the screens and stuff, but uh, why bother? Effort. Right. I'll just leave us in the world map for a bit. Okay, I think I've done something because I've. I don't know why this is still grey instead of white. Yeah, I messed something up. Are okay, how do you do that? <laughs> oh, oh yeah, I forgot we did that. <laughs> oh, you spot the story wrong as well. Oof. Oh, shut up. Uh... Oof. Of all the things to pick up on. Oh, it's just the. Oh, oh it wrong. Yeah. Yeah, I was Oof. just about to think Oof. that, okay. So we've got update your story with the information on how hell holes seem to be opened. Hyphen ritual. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Everybody happy? Yeah. Anything you want to add to it or? We could add this. Thank you, Sophie. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so, shall we 
we, I don't think we've learned a lot about what or who Mr. Still the Flame is, so I don't think we need to move that, delete that, because we still don't know. Yeah, let's we should only have one party goal at a time. Yeah, so let's get that one shot. True. So shall we Dump delete that, that one, or maybe no longer relevant, or... You can leave it in know, the ideas to expand on if you want. Sure. Yeah. Just dump it over there. I would say there's still value in it, right? Yeah. Plus, it gives you guys a, a like a note system to, to look back on. It isn't just a you know, Callum's memory. Uh, I don't have a memory. We noticed. <laughs> you didn't even call yourself a lord this week. Do I? You something? Yeah. Huh. You, you started doing that at least for a, a, a couple of weeks in a row. My mind's boggled. All right, let me be. I told you at the start, no. What? <laughs> it is Walker Free Reforged. I've got to play that too. No. Yes. No. Yes. But also no. Yes. Oh my god, can these glasses actually get fucking cleaned? <laughs> that nerd, you're gonna use glasses. I... yeah. I mean, I wear glasses, how dare you? <laughs> nerd! I used to wear glasses, how dare that you? Nerd! You wear glasses as well, shut up. Keep in mind, we reclaimed the word nerd for different reasons. And uh, oh, yeah. I'll remind anyone that <laughs> has forgotten, wanna. if they wish, um, in my Frenchman's house. So, <laughs> meanwhile. That's where I am now. Oh my. <laughs> Who gave you the key to my Frenchman's house? <laughs> God, you're talking about my memory. <laughs> <laughs> right, the goal is set, somehow, and we shall... We shall begin. So, you have travelled through the Direwood and the joy that, that probably was for everyone. I believe we ended the last session with everyone kind of breathing the slightly less oppressed air of the open plains. And here you are. Now, are you going to try and press on or take a short, like a short rest, a long rest? Um, what is the main focus of the party is it try and get a bit further away from the direwood first and then do a long rest or what what's the i reckon we want to get the range of it causing us problems before we have a long rest exhaustion yeah. range yeah so like maybe travel for a bit again and then yeah okay is that how everybody feels sure thank you everyone and then yes <laughs> good so how long are you wanting to travel for Away from the uh, the direwood. Seven or four. Way. Yeah, probably as far as we can go without you know falling down with exhaustion. Just saying. Uh, then why doesn't everyone roll me some constitution checks, and we'll find out how long you can go. Cool, cool, cool. Mm -hmm. And it's constitution yeah, saves, want. I guess, that we want. Yeah, con saves, and obviously if you're under the effect of. Anything that affects it, be affected by. Oh it. yeah, girl. Oh shit! So, so I had on one out. point of thingy, <clears throat> didn't I? Yeah, let's have a look 14. and see. Yeah. Let's see if. So I think I had one level of exhaustion. So that's an. Is that an ability check? No, that's a saving throw. Nope. So you need. So I had you one. would need three levels for it to affect saving throws. So we're good for that. <laughs> sure, oh, right. sure, sure. So that's fine. Like it's nineteen, and ignore that last one. Right. Cool. cool. So we got. a 20, a 19, an 11, uh, a 21. Yeah. And whenever Scott catches up to us. <laughs> Crombard in a bit. <laughs> There's possibly muted or pushed to talking, not working. Or scrambling to his computer from his bed, so he can <laughs> use his character sheet. Or struggling on his phone with his character sheet on roll twenty because roll twenty on his phone isn't great. I don't know. I'm just ad libbing here until we hear anything from him. And this is when we get doo doo as he disconnects. Come on, Scott. What's happening? Um. Hello. Right. Welcome back. I'm here. I'm here. 
cool. Where's your coin save? I did it. Did no, I didn't. Never mind. <laughs> we noticed. <laughs> Everybody noticed. No, you didn't. I was genuinely uh, worried that I hadn't noticed. I was like, oh my god, have I missed that? <laughs> There we go. Oh god, that's no, probably... It's okay. Um, right. Eric, you have another level, or a level, of exhaustion, depending on what you had before. I think you didn't have any before because you weren't here before, so... Um, well, spiritually, I was here. Yeah. And, um, so you've got one level. Everybody else made their save, which is good. Um, but you get to the point where... Yeah. You mean we reduce a level of exhaustion? No. Because you haven't right, rested. This is use pressing Just on to me. not fatigue again further yeah. while being exhausted. But you wanted to try and clear the uh, the distance between obviously the the dire woods effects on whatever the hell is happening to it. And probably want to head away from the abyss area as well. Let's face it, you probably want to start heading north. Yeah, I like the idea of going away from the fiery death place. Yeah. And there seems to be a to, lot of those these uh, days. To go to another fiery <laughs> death place. But. Well, in my head at the moment, you're heading at least in the direction roughly of Horizon, which is the easiest way to clear the Direwood. Um, otherwise, you'd kind of be running up parallel to the Direwood to head up to the other place. Um, you know, like kind of northeast, west, even northwest. But, um, right. Uh, what does it look like then, Eric, as you get exhausted? To the point where you can't travel anymore. I uh, throw a tantrum and sit down. <laughs> so you. How does that go? You're meant to role play, you know. Yeah. Well, yeah, that was me role playing. <laughs> I, you were right, uh, I think that was called testifying. So, <laughs> yeah. I, 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 th I, th I think it was called projecting. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I throw, my, I throw, I throw, like, throw myself about the place and go, right, I'm tired, and just sit down. You know, I refuse to sit another foot. You sound like a grumpy there. kid that needs a nap. I wouldn't point. sit there, that's nettles. <laughs> I don't care, the burn feels good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, yeah, considering crumbar has been through, how much, and then the sorcerer that hid in a tent is throwing a tantrum that he has to walk. Right. <laughs> I feel like there used to be a conversation there. <laughs> what, with myself? No, with Crumbar. No, no, like, Crumbar does what he wants, but me, I'm tired, we need to rest. I'm done. So, I another step. So you've thrown a big wee tantrum. Crumbar is just going to turn around to you, look at you, and go, Really? What have you actually done recently? Pointed at the flames. Burnt some bones. <laughs> Magic is exhausting, I'll have you know. So it's getting hit a lot. Yeah, but you just shout and you're fine. I just kind of, you know, huff at you. I'm a law rest. Wow. You're, you're quite. A, you're a bit electronic there. Can you repeat that for me, <laughs> Callum? I am a lord. I require my rest. Thank you. I guess we're sleeping here uh, tonight, by the looks of it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, if we're sleeping here, Eric, you can set the tents up. Nope. I'm too tired. I was going to say, yeah, tents. <laughs> what kind of luxury party do you think this is, Crumpa? You know, I don't even have like a backpack full of stuff. I have like a couple of things in it and that's it. In fact, that's a good point. Do you even have clothes on yet? Yes. Yeah, he does. he got really <laughs> nice red, red yeah, robes. Yeah, he's got the fancy ones. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's make a point of stealing them at some point. No. No. Yeah, we're getting a lot of electronic here from you. Oh, how long? Oh my God, by the way. I'll unroll my bedroll and be like, you know, just plop down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I think I would do the same, just be like, oh well, sleep's fun. Boof. Yeah. Hit ground, fall asleep. So, um, 
Are we eating rations? Are we hunting? Oh shoot, yes, I was supposed to see. Are we still surrounded by like things that No, that's seem why he's pushed on. Badly. He's tried to clear like he's he's, okay. a, he's a, like cleared the dire wood. Okay. I wasn't sure if we've managed to get fully out of it. Okay, cool. In that case I'll probably try to hunt for everybody then before sleep. Cool. Is anyone helping? Are you a hunt, or are you doing other things? Um, I'll, I'll, any use. Use. I'll, I'll help. Yeah. I'll yeah. help, but only just so I can keep a close eye on her to make sure she doesn't run away. I mean, that does make sense, right? Don't let the enemy poison all the food that they're bringing back. Mistress of the Flame, though, should be able to cook it before it even comes back. <laughs> well, I'm more concerned as if she fires the arrow or something, it's just going to set it on fire. <laughs> yeah, and, okay, and Minecraft has taught me anything, right? Fire. That'll cook the bacon. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, so good. Um, okay, so... Who's taking the lead? Are you? Are you taking the lead for this one? Yeah, me. Roll so survival normally. Survival, right? Yeah, but with a normal roll. I think it's happening. Yeah, you definitely have enough. Like I think maybe you've just um you've put the scope to actually go get you know, game again. I don't know, some kind of fantasy deer, you know. <laughs> fantasy deer. Ah, that I'll make Crumbar I'll, I'll make Crumbar carry it. <laughs> yeah, and like I don't know, maybe there's um like do you do you bring up anything conversationally between the two of you when you're out hunting? Because that's probably quite a a tense moment, right? Probably okay. not, to be honest, because hunting and talking to Max. Yeah, that's what I was thinking as well. Like, yeah. Pro yeah. I'd be like scare away you know, things. If he tries to say anything, I'm like, Psh, and give him a like, you know, not weird look, but a like stern look. You know, but... Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like kind of scolding him. Like, if you want to eat, you know, be is, quiet. This is not yeah. The, <laughs> yeah, this is not the time. <laughs> Yeah, but I think at the same time I would have just been like, yeah, just stay where I can see you kind of thing. And fall and you would clunk, clunk, clunk. So you're basically <laughs> like, yeah, like, you know, raising two fingers, pointing them at your eyes and then point, like, pointing them at me, kind of like, I have my eyes on you. <laughs> sort of thing, is that what, 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 what I'm expecting here? Yeah, I think there's definitely a bit of a uh, tension between the two of you on this uh, successful hunt. And maybe that's it. Maybe he's have taken the frustration out on the game that was available. So maybe, maybe, maybe there was more killed than there was specifically necessary. So you have an ample meal. Ample. Yay! All the food. Yeah. 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 Uh, right. Okay. Okay. So yeah, you sit down. You start your long rest. Is there a topic of conversation that comes up, or are people just tucking into food? Is there anything they specifically wants to do? I'm stuffing my face. Yeah. Yep. Anything? Again, I think I'd just be eating food and, you know, keeping an eye on Aria. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. I'm going to eat food and stare at my book. Okay. The mysteries of the book. Potentially use it as a pillow. Yeah, probably. Hug it might hit me back for like one damage. <laughs> attach book to clothes, attach maze to clothes. Aha, uh -huh, now you can't take anything. <laughs> it's just not that bad, is it? Oh dear. Um, I'm actually trying to find that image that I had for you. Remember the fancy red clothes? Um, oh, that's way up. Yeah, I was going to say, I'd, I've been looking for it just on the Google search that I did to find it in the first place, but um, nope. It was uh, not coming back, so yeah. There I go. I'll uh, find it. Okay. Have you found it? I have not, no. Oh. Just a fake excitement there. So, yeah, you all set, you have food. Um, if nobody wants to talk or conversate or anything like else, is you taking turns at keeping watch or? Yeah. Cool. I'm happy to go first, but yeah. Cool. Ah, there they are. Damn fancy. Damn fancy. So yeah, Scott mm -hmm. on the Discord chat. 
That is the um, the outfits that he's wearing. Ooh, mm, fancy. That's him. They they are fancy. they are some. Oh yeah, I remember that guy. Yep, yep. What well, everybody wears when you're off adventuring in the forest. Yeah. Yep. I mean, to be fair, like he's Lord Eric Rainwood. Of course, it's what he's going to wear with his like comfy slipper shoes. I threw, <laughs> I, I threw tantrums when I didn't get my rest. Like, come on. At least this time it's red. You know, if he gets like spots of blood on it, it will... at least it matches his hammer now, right? So <laughs> that's the main thing. Um... Can he even lift a hammer without the seams giving on that, though? Yes, it's not a heavy hammer, God. Yeah, it's not, the picture it, adds ten pounds. No, just the idea of lifting your arms. It looks so tailored that you might not be able to. Oh, you missed the joke. Never mind. Anyway, shade aside, um, all round. Um, <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah. Everyone, I'm gets, everyone gets a long rest. Um, nobody is interrupted <laughs> during the night, which is nice. Um, so anyone that has A level of exhaustion, you can go down by one level. Yay! <laughs> Those of you on one level before the rest are now on no levels. Which is Yay. good. Very good. So, I think only Crumbar was on two, right? Yeah. And then everybody else only Crumbar should be on one now. One. Yeah, I was going to say, mm -hmm. I think only Crumbar should be on one now. Out of everybody. Which isn't bad. Um, so he's all wake up. Whoever was last on watch, I don't know, probably Crumbar since he was the most knackered in the first place. So he's maybe the last person to take watch. He was the first person to get sleep. Yeah, I'm surprised I even managed yeah. to get go on watch. Yeah, I think it's well. Like, keep in mind, the rest that you would have got here would have been like it would have felt like when you know you've been out for like maybe a week at someone else's um, bed, so yeah. to speak, and then you get back to your own bed and you're like, oh, this is what it's like to rest. Yeah, like just being away from the direwood is good. Um, I want my big comfy king size bed back. <laughs> you mean your so does that, does hotel that magna? Kind of... It's a long rest. Everything you've got, yeah. yeah. So if yeah, you like... if you've got things to restore, please go restore yourselves now, Kitty. Yeah, I... yeah. Just restore uh, my spells. Restore things. Yep, yep, yep. Keep in mind as well, Arya. This is where you would like repick spells if you wanted to as well. Yeah, I also just realised that I still have Shillelagh as a cantrip, and I think we've had a discussion about how that's like completely useless for me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But 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 yeah, I just mentally, I I still know what I have here. So. Cool. So it's morning. Uh, what's the plan? Head north. Keep uh. on walking. Yeah, he's going to just head back to Horizon. Is that the plan? Is that what the group are discussing, or? Um, yeah. Yeah, I thought that's that was the plan. I think so as well. Yeah. Yep. I'm just saying, let's have that in character. That conversation. He's only had oh. that as the gold <laughs> chat. Remember? Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, hey guys, so like we should head back to like Horizon Tracy. and inform <laughs> just Aria of what we've found. She might be able to tell us how to actually close them, and then we can go on and close the other ones. Unless somebody knows us. Equally strong wizard or mage, I agree. Yeah, that's that was some super subtle hinting there. Yeah. <laughs> He's friendly. <laughs> Ish. <laughs> I mean, yeah, right. Who could know alternative wizard options, right? Who yeah. possibly? Ooh. Indeed. Um, yeah, if you just want to head off that way, cool. Uh, do you all want to do, I don't know, athletics checks then for me? And we'll see how everybody does on the journey back. Skills? Or, yeah. I always a skill check, yeah. So I think only Crumbar is rolling at disadvantage on this one. I did better than Monk. I've got a minus one! I love how you make that seem like it's a oh, big wait, deal. Did you say it's athletics? Especially in your pyjamas. <laughs> athletics, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. The seams would uh, stop me from running that fast. Right, why are we rolling athletic? This is just heading back, like these are just like booking it back to Horizon. Yeah. Alright, okay. I'm quite happy with a casual joke. <laughs> <laughs> quite, you're kind of like, <laughs> why, are we, why are we all walking so fast? 
Remember, remember still like, I told you that thing about people that walk fast naturally, it takes more energy to yeah. walk slower? Yeah, yeah. That, that's your burden just now, 50 foot movements, big boy. I'm more just imagine you being like Gimli in Lord of the Rings trying to catch up with the <laughs> hobbits. He's more like Legolas though, since he has 50 feet of movement, that's the problem. Uh -huh. um, mm. Also, where's your where's your check there, Cumber? We're still waiting. I've not, done it. No, you've not. No, you didn't, you know. 19. Athletics. Yeah, 19 out of 13. 19. Out of 13? What? 19 out of 13. Yeah, sorry, so 19. Hey. Sorry, 19 and 13. I don't see uh, it. Log in, out and in again, because we don't see yeah, this. Yeah, we generally don't see it, yeah. honestly. This is not the first time this. Hmm. This is weird. Yeah. Ryan, roll twenty doesn't like me. Like it more, <laughs> that might like you more. Or roll charisma. I don't know. I'm sure there's a. I just um, I just refresh my page just to be hundred percent sure, and I still don't see it. Mm. Oh Definitely well. Definitely. Let's try it again. So athletics with this. Oh man, I could have done the uh, I could have just like screenshotted it and sent you some like really amazing photo editing. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen your photo editing. No you couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's weird, because right, I've just logged in now and now my thing's not there. Mysteries. Yeah. Mm. Right, roll with disadvantage on athletics for me. Clicky linky again. Right, there you go. Ah better roll. Yeah. Still not visible. Nope, not yet anyway. Not just me either, not right. Seriously? Hundred percent. What are you rolling on? Are you on your computer and you're like a device of some kind? I'm on my computer. That is very weird. Type in a word you, like, into chat and hit enter. Oh, right, okay. So <laughs> is your character sheet <laughs> is your character sheet popped out of the browser or is it still in the browser? It's uh, still in the browser. Did you know what I meant when I said popped out? Yeah, Good. like when you... <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, when you click the wee thing and make it into a new window. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Interesting. Do you want to pop it out and roll? Okay. The character sheet, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you roll it, then I think you're doing <laughs> it wrong. Anything? Nope. This is when, like, in a couple of weeks' time, we'll just have, like, 40 athletic rolls appear from nowhere. <laughs> what the hell is this? Right. What is your... Athletics! Ah, hold on. There we go. Oh, my God. What? There we go. Right. Oh, sweet Jesus. What are we taking? The six? Yeah, I'm <laughs> <six. laughs> joking. <laughs> Take the six. Look at the amount of six and seven year old, by the way. And eights. That's jeez, oh. Right. You need practice your athletics. <laughs> right, so we'll take the 11 that I can see is the first one. Yeah. Um, no, no, we'll take the 6 for punishment. No. Really? Uh, no, that's, no. That's I've, got, I've got a 16, all, an but... 8, an 11, a 12, an 8, a 13, a 6, a 9, a 12, a 6, 17, See that and second a last one? That second last one was a good pair though. Look at that. A 21 and a yeah, 17. Was. That was pretty yeah. good. You should take the average. You're right. 11. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Um, journey is still pretty tiring, obviously, for Crumbar. Um, he's push on. He's have another long rest, obviously, because you know that happens. Can Arya roll survival, assuming she's going to hunt for people again? If somebody's going to help her, she can roll with advantage. Mm. Yeah, I'll help. <laughs> we lost you there, Stuart. Yeah, Hello? totally. Oh, cool. I'm Hello back. Again. We push on. It was all I heard. Oh. Yeah. So. Cool. Who, who was helping? Sorry. Me. Yeah, Sophie said she'd help. Cool. So you just go off. Use um again. The closer you are getting to horizon, again the more copious the sur survival opportunities are, shall we say, um, in terms of hunting food and such. It's good. Uh, Crumbar, you've had another long rest. Just so you know. Does that mean I get even more health back? On you, top of my already full health. <laughs> no, but you do have no exhaustion now. Oh, right. That's even better. Right. Because you had two levels. Then you had a long rest and you had one level. And now you've had another long rest. You're good. 
And then, assuming people are going to rotate this, Arya, can you give me another, I don't know, three survival checks? At advantage? Sure. Nice. Yep. And unless there's anything you really want to do before you get back to Horizon, these can be at Horizon now. <laughs> yeah. Can, can we assume that one of the things I've been doing is like, you know, you know, just scouting the, the skies just in case, uh, Ruya has been like, you know, free to like wander around, depending on, you know, what sort of freedoms they've been allowing her to have. And if that's the case, then of course I would have like called out to her, like held my arm out, and, you know, that sort of stuff, and gotten her back. Give me a normal perception if she check. Is still on I guess the every line. like, you know, like, perception. Yeah. Sure. Cool, yeah, so along the journey you could have spotted her at some point. Um, maybe there was that kind of, you know, go back to Horizon conversation you had with Ruya. Or you realise yeah, that yep. somebody had tied a thread from Eric's robes somehow. No! <laughs> 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 um, where does this fraying robe go? Um, <laughs> I'm an echo again! <laughs> <laughs> Why is it getting colder? Is the back of your closet just... <laughs> it's sort of right between my knees. Why am I naked again? Oh dear. <laughs> the autobiography fills itself in, wrapped in the chain. <laughs> <laughs> Chapter one, why am I naked again? Um, Chapter two, the breeze between the knees. Yep. <laughs> the breeze between the knees. That's actually a good name of a book. <laughs> <laughs> so, Chapter three, why is my butt cold? We're, um... Back at Horizon. Uh, I suggest we go and try and get a wee audience with the story. It's definitely a good first one, yeah. Mm -hmm. How are you going to go about that? How do you do this? So you're outside the Horizon, you're at the gates, you're about to go in. Obviously, people come and go from Horizon a lot anyway, so there's no issue getting into the city. Let's go knock. <laughs> Head I like that. Just walk up. We were. Bang, bang, bang. Head back to where we fought those trees again. How's that? Oh, I was naked. Now, well, remember the maps the map let there. you go through the right yeah. gates to get mm. to Can that place? Um. Probably not, to be honest. You probably don't have those letters. Those probably vanished when you went mm. with your story, when you know you all went unconscious and then she attended to your wounds, etc. Oh, I might probably in the uh, the Wizard King's little pocket dimension. Because no. it was tucked in that robe. I suppose if it was in the robe, yeah, it probably is there. Mm -hmm. I mean, it might also explain how you knew where to find you, right? Yeah. <laughs> but the food tracking. Yeah, maybe he just said that to bullshit you. And he's like, no, actually, I just opened your mail, mate. But that's illegal <laughs> according to the laws I made up, so I'm not going to admit that. You know? <laughs> Who knows? Magna's a law unto himself, so. Yeah. I am the rules. I am the law. <laughs> that's it. I want to refill my water skin, so empty them out and fill them with real water. Uh. Uh, you could probably have done that on the way here as well. There's probably like probably a bunch of streams, yeah. Like, um, I like, assume that's done. yeah, I was gonna say, you're happy, you can fill those back up with normal water. <laughs> I say normal loosely, um, mm -hmm. but like, there was enough survival checks for like you have to hand the water skins over to people to go, like, while well, you're out, you know, find a tap. Yeah. <laughs> find find a tap. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, those natural occurring spring taps, yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, it's sparkling, or no? I don't know off button and called waterfalls. I look off in the yeah. distance. A faucet. <laughs> <laughs> off topic, but there is actually a, a story of a guy in a canal who pulled something out of the bottom. 
and came back later that next day to find the canal was empty. And it was a plug he had pulled out. That's it wasn't able to stop it overflowing kind of thing. It was kind of... <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah. Okay, yeah, sorry. Yeah, that's fun. okay. I enjoyed that. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> so my throat would catch up with me. Tops. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, also, it's a magical world. Who knows what they've done? Wizards are mental. Yeah. So, um... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you right. get a tap, and you get a tap. So, right, yeah. you're in the Horizon. What are you doing in the Horizon to get your story's attention? I the don't tops know. Found in the way. <laughs> 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 it's some noise. Um... If Arlok will probably get attacked by trees. <laughs> wow. Well, that would be yeah. probably good, but... I mean... Right. Me, I'd probably want to just like just stomp away, th assuming I know where I'm going. And just like, yeah, well, it was it was this way last last time, so it will be this way again. Mm. That's one easy way, but we should have thought about it about five days ago. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is it Arya? You use your magic thing. Oh. Mm. Well, to be fair, I think we should save the bands for when we're you know desperate. Anything. Mm. Um, is there not guards and stuff like that? Well, yeah. the thing is with guards, they're just going to assume because everyone's going to want to talk to her. So it's like, oh, just more people that want to talk to her. I think how many yeah, suitors but, uh, the princess just already will have. We have an audience with her. Still. We totally fit like that. Just say. Yeah. Still, yeah, guards still are only option at the moment. So go to guards, say. say uh, We've so, arrived back. So do you want to roll a... perception to look for these guards? These one. Okay, one the fancy dressed one. <laughs> uh, I want to find the fanciest dressed guard. I can maybe yeah. have a perception check then. <laughs> could we? Could we not help him with that as well? Yeah, if he's a roll, he can roll with advantage. Yeah. Because I think like we would be. Yeah, yeah. if that's what these are we'll discussing, go. let's go find somebody mm -hmm. to to see where's where's the princess at. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, that auto. Oh bloody hell, man! So, I need. No, let's do. I'm just curious here, sick, but I yeah, bloody it. typical when I hit the right button. Okay, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> so with your eight, the yes. um, yeah, you look around. Um, yeah, you don't spot a single guard. Like there are a lot of fancily dressed people here, and maybe there's people that you go up to or you're about to approach, and then like they wander off because they're just like a random mercenary-looking guy. That isn't actually a guard. Nobody seems to be in matching uniforms. There's no. This isn't like when you're in, say, Glitterhagen, and there were actually quite obvious posted city guard everywhere. Mm. Ask a shop owner where the local guards are. Come on, back, make a ruckus. <laughs> ah! It just punches oh. Eric. <laughs> 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 Eric casts Thunder Wave. There you go, ruckus <laughs> achieved. Like this bar in the middle of the street, that's gonna bring the police, you know? Um, but yeah, so, yeah, you can go find a shopkeeper or like a stall person or whatever, yeah. 100% Eric, 100% that image. Yeah, probably the <laughs> gif, <literally>. yep. <laughs> it's literally you and Crumbar. <laughs> <laughs> Crumbar, you could do a show, but yeah. <laughs> <sighs> To be fair though, Crumbar does kind of have like nicer armor, so like Crumbar's kind of more like this. Crumbar has armor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Cool moves. Yep. So, so yeah, what type of um, shop in particular are you looking for? Just anyone? Bones and N or something that would probably be the best because they would actually naturally have their own ruckus. Uh, Mm -hmm. So they'd be more in need of guards, you'd think, more often. Yeah, you could probably go find an inn if he's wanted. Okay. And actually, like, you know, have some civilization for a change instead of just sitting around, you know, uh. fires and such, and the outside. <laughs> so, um, yeah, let's see. One second. Gonna just get a, a name for this in. Well, I don't know how I can't call it that. The huge hobgoblin. <laughs> Brilliant. Right, okay. 
There we go. The huge hobgoblin. I mean, in in Horizon. <laughs> in in Horizon. Yep. Named after Hobgoblin. The huge. So yeah, use um. Head Wait, in. We're in a bar. These are heading into an inn. Yeah. Come back, drink a contest. Let's go. <laughs> I mean, do you really want to do that with me? Yep. You're paying. I've got no money though. <laughs> yes, you do. I don't. I feel like he. Right, I just put. I feel like. I feel like. Uh, oh no, I do. Plug jug and just start necking that then. <laughs> <laughs> like drinking competition? I am the competition. It's just start drinking from the jug. Yeah. Can I shout to everyone in the inn? Try out drink this orc! Um, yeah. Do you want to give me a. Like, what is it you're actually trying to achieve with this? Do you want. To get um, money from this, or what? Yeah, sure. Right, we'll have a we'll have a kumba drinking, and everyone's going to try and match them. Everyone that enters has to like put in, I don't know, like two silver. Roll up, roll up. See if you can out drink an orc. Right, so yep. two silver pieces. You're going to have to match this. You know that, right? If they win. <laughs> Right. Mm, I've got five gold, it's fine. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, so let me see how many people are in here right now. Right. Wow, right. it's dead. Uh, no, that's just my modifier. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it starts at a certain number, um, which happened to be ten. So it's fourteen. There are fourteen peoples in here just now. So you got this right, Comba. Most likely. I'll split it half and half of you. No. Can you can you give me a let's see performance check I guess for me Eric? Okay. Am I convincing enough? I'll let you know in a second. <laughs> yes. Ah, go drink, come on, win us money. Right. So uh, here we go. Let's deal with this first. Right. Let's just get this out of the way. Let me find what this costs. Expenses. Remember when I thought f like horses were the only thing I had to price? But now drinking competitions. <laughs> so, Mind them price up a station wagon. Yep, that's fine. Right, so what we're looking for here? Ale. Pens, ale or wine? Ale. Definitely go for the ale. Okay. So, are we doing this by the gallon? <laughs> <laughs> or are we doing um, this by the mug, Eric? Cause you by the mug. Right, okay, so it's, and I hope you're tracking this, Eric. So, it's four copper pieces per mug, right? Wait, uh, and you calculate. So, four couple pieces per mug, yeah. Yep. Right. And you wanted it to be, what, two silver pieces to enter the competition? Yes. Take on Crumbar. Who's drinking out his gallon? His, his carafe. Right, so, Crumbar, what are you making the jug be? Uh, I'm literally just about to post it in. Yeah. <laughs> Then. Cool. So you've got four gallons of beer. Dear gods. <laughs> are you sharing the beer with the people involved in the competition or Oh we, fuck them no. Right, cool, so <laughs> Right. Eric. Let's yes. see um Yeah, I'm pretty sure most people are actually up for this. So as, just, let's just say it's all 14 of them. Why the fuck not? <laughs> <laughs> Bartender better get pulling pints. Yeah. So, let's go for it. So are you paying for all these uh, mugs, Eric? Yeah, sure. 
Right, let's get this done. So that's 14 mugs. Six copper. Yep. Right, I'm going to do... Crumbar, can you give me a... Corn save? All right, the cards, bro. Go! Right. Advantage, go! Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, when it matters most. Right, so let me just... Trying to get us money here. <laughs> let me do this. Oh, the one dude just fucking aced it. God damn. So we're ignoring that last one. <clears throat> Can we ignore the 20 and have the 3? No. <laughs> um, right, so 1, 2... That's 1, 2... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right, so nine people, nine people are still in the game. Oof. Yeah. Oh, after one mug. I mean, you're in Horizon. Let's just let that sink in first. It's conceived. It's also just uh, that maybe a lot of these people have been drinking all day. Maybe you never factored that. True. So, you've only lost five five people and most of Crumbar. So, <laughs> right. How so, many lives does Crumbar have? It's okay. That was my warm up drink. Yeah, I but mean, yeah. you now owe nine people two silver each, Eric. Yeah, that's fine. What I beat five, so the, the five. Yep. So how much do I need? So five lots of two silver, right? You have taken in. You've technically taken what? 14 times that and you owe that out now back to people so you're so 20 you're, 28 silver what well, 10 of it 10 10 10 of that silver is good people lost so 18 silver and obviously 56 copper for the drinks cool as long as you're tracking this wonderful maths adventure <laughs> right cool uh we've got nine people left Um crumbar i need you to do this next save with disadvantage <laughs> oh god. god. I thought you could drink. What is this? Wait, so have you so bought what? I need you to have bought nine more mugs? Nine more mugs. Yeah. Right. And then I'll do my my rolls here. Combar's kidneys still hurt from when he got punched in them, that's all it was. Mm-hmm. Hey, a bet. Hey, you beat two. Oh. Uh, right, so five people are still in the game. Five people. Oh. <laughs> right, so you. You got nine. Lots of two silver in. Minus whatever your mug costs were. And you have to pay five Except. lots of two silver out. I'm and you also need to be paying for crumbar every single time with this. I hope you realise that as well. Like so, crumbar versus everybody. So he's got he's got his own drug. Yeah, but you're not buying his drinks. You're paying for having bet him. So everybody gets the two silver of his input because you're betting on him. Otherwise, people Wait, aren't what? making any money. Oh, good point. Oh, yeah, so like yeah, so, two silver. And that's per victory, by the way. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Right, so, per victory, I thought it was, what, nine people who survived last time, and there's five that survived this time, yep. so that alone. I have to redo the math. Nope, just leave that victory cost to the very end. And we'll okay, talk so that. So there's nine, five, nine five so far. Five people left over. Uh, yeah, I feel like roll with disadvantage again for me, Crumbar. Um, cool. You're doing better this time. Um, you have you have one level of exhaustion. <laughs> and. 
three That's people. That's three left. Three people. Right, so... Three people. Further to silver. Yeah. And that, this one person is acing all the way through. Like, what the hell? Yeah, right? So... They, they are clearly just a fucking bucket of a person. Um, <laughs> so, like, this is easy money. Right, now... Crumbar is in no condition to drink anymore. It's not gonna happen. So that is the huh. game. That is that competition over. <laughs> so can Crumbar just goes into the corner and just whites. Yeah. <laughs> so I think what's that? Seventeen lots of two silver in addition to all the other costs at the end. So. So what? The, the so at the moment, right? So if we did this normally. <laughs> 14 people paid into the competition, right? Yeah, that's... So you've got that part, right? So, yeah. remember, costs and gains, right? So you've got 14 mugs. Yeah, and which then, is 56 copper. And then you've got your... your entry fees of 2 silver each, right? Yeah. Which is 28 silver. And then, from that, 9 people stayed. So you had to pay them essentially double what they put in. So they get another eighteen on back, so double eighteen. Everybody gets every day. It's a winner gets four silver back, right? That's a good point. Yeah, that's fifty six silver. Right. Then there's another nine mugs to buy, and another yeah. nine lots of two silver come in. Right. Another nine lots of two silver. Yeah, because it's the next round. Uh, I'm going through it from scratch. Right? Okay, okay, I thought only five survived, right. but yeah, obviously. So, round one, 14 mugs, and then 14 times two silver. Yeah. Right, and then the results of that are that nine people stuck around, so you owe nine times two, uh, sorry, nine times four silver back. Right, yeah. then round two, nine mugs, and nine times two silver in. And then f the results of that were that five people stuck around. So you owe five times four silver out. Right? And then round three is five mugs and five times two silver pieces in. And then from that, three people made it. And that one person that's aced it the entire time with their natural 20. <coughs> and that's where it ended. So you owe three times four silver pieces back out. So how much are you down? Uh, and then obviously mugs. So, 14, 9, then 5. Mm -hmm. If you divide that by 10, it'll be silver. Yeah. So, I owe 69 silver and 12 copper. <laughs> Much gold did you have? Work. How much gold did you have? Five. So you're actually all more out than you have? <laughs> well done. Wait, what? Ten. I thought silver was worth less than gold. So ten silver is a gold. Oh shit. Why did I think it was a hundred? Because you're thinking <laughs> in terms of wow. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, no. right. So it's um, how much do you need to borrow from Crumbar? Nineteen silver, twelve copper, which is all basically two gold. 
Yeah, I'll give you two gold. <laughs> don't do it again. <laughs> yeah, I'm not an entrepreneur. <laughs> oh, no, I was really hoping he would ask me. <laughs> yeah. You're, uh, uh, actually, you like, could there. just take it off ask you. Ask Crumbar. <laughs> Crumbar hasn't got the use of words at the moment. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> ask, ask Crumbar. Go. Ask Crumbar. See what happens. <laughs> I need to make a roll here. Give me two seconds. Okay. Interesting. Did they ask me? Uh, no. Rich paid for it because Rich is sensible. Oh, man. Because <laughs> I worked out, I still have a gallon of uh, beer left. So if you'd asked me, I would have just walked up and poured it over your head. <laughs> 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 oh no. So, let's see. One, two. I would then need another change of clothes. Exactly! <laughs> Lol. <laughs> Operation Ruin at Eric's clothing. Every single Every time. time. You've got fear of the dog lift. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, dear, dear. Poor. It was a good idea though, right? It was yeah. a good idea. Let's try and make money, but... Did it draw the attention of the guards? <laughs> what guards? There is no guards. Yeah, because they don't draw their attention. Make a loud fulsen! Throw a chair! Not at me! Too late! Crumbar picks up a chair and throws it at Eric. So, nope. <laughs> no, like the one on the left, the one on the right, or the one in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you cast that spell on me? <laughs> oh, for real. Um, so, the person that rolled all the natural 20s. Obviously still looking Excellent. fine. Like, finishing off people's mugs that haven't been able to actually get through them all. Um, <laughs> <coughs> she stands up. Kind of pushes away. That's She's a good, she? maybe, eight. Maybe. She looks like she could easily be eight feet. Um... Please tell me a story of that would make me so happy. She, like, heads over and, like, when she's walking towards um, the group, because maybe she was a table away, because everybody just, like, turned in their seats where they were and just had the competition as is, and people ran around as Eric was giving money away, not really paying attention to the money, probably, as he was going, come on, Crumbar, come on, Crumbar, Crumbar, stop falling over. <laughs> and then, yeah, she kind of comes into the, the candle light of the, the dim, dingy kind of a huge hobgoblin in and uh, this rather large orc looking woman just pushes tables out of the way to get up yeah. um, kind of Crumbar who's probably like using the jug to prop himself up um, she just kind of grabs you by the collar like of your, your plate armour hoists you up uh, kisses you drops you on the table and leaves <laughs> <laughs> Found you and me you could be thank me later was that my wife? <laughs> Do you give me a disadvantage perception check? <laughs> oh. Disadvantage perception. Give me a 20. No, oh, I did give me a 20 as well. <laughs> um, it was not your wife, but at this point you're looking at her and you're thinking, could she be your wife? <laughs> but, uh, I think at this point Crumbar is just thinking you know what it's been a while <laughs> <laughs> she's my wife tonight <laughs> mm -hmm. but yeah so she she heads off um, whether it's Crumbar uh, tries to follow <laughs> um, sure off you go you can, you can follow her if you want yeah what's everybody else doing besides um, just looking at why Eric has just handed away money Looking at Eric I'm with I'm just staring at Yeah, I'm just staring at like... Can. I just want to ask then, Keeper, where are all the guards a reason for being here? <laughs> Obviously, they're in the idling animation of just cleaning that one mug um, with like a, a towel of some kind, a rag of some kind. So, they look up and... Uh, let's see, let me find a race for them as well, shall I? Please be a dwarf. Um, I actually don't know oh my it. god, is it Bob the Dwarf? <laughs> Bob the Dwarf. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> after all this time! I didn't know you had this. 
one, two, three, four, five. Actually, that's a bitch in Dragonborn. There we go. Oh. Yeah. So yeah, kind of, you know, probably about six or seven feet behind the bar. Probably, like, got what looks like, you know, kind of greying edges to its chin, so it looks like maybe it could be quite old. Its scales are a bit kind of, you know, faded near its chin. Um, and it just kind of, like, narrows its kind of yellowish eyes as you approach. It's like looking for round four as you approach the bar. Oh, who's that addressed to? Whoever approached the bar. Yeah, me, but what do you mean r looking for round four? You have just had like three rounds of drinking. And yeah. constantly paying for no. stuff, so as a group, yeah. that's yeah. what he witnessed. He wasn't part yeah. of our meta conversation. Where? Where are all the guards? Yeah. He kind of like cocks like a, a ridge of his, his eyebrow. He's like, Are you looking to start trouble? Yeah. No, they're looking <laughs> no, to resolve trouble. <laughs> he starts like polishing the bar in front of him, holding the mug in one hand. He's like, Horizon's protected magically. And he kind of waves his hand with the rag to the air as if he's casting a spell. Well, there's very strong magic not far from Horizon at the moment. It's and they should be aware of it. Oh. And then he's a. Uh, he kind of like does that thing where he leans in over the bar. He's like, very strong magic in Horizon, you know? He kind of like nods as if he's about to laugh, and then you see him like cough up a bit of fire at the <laughs> side of his mouth. Rough taken. The question is is the magic inside Horizon strong enough to keep that magic outside? outside? And he just he kind of like with his um, the mug, just taps like his nose with the mug, the kind of snoutish kind of face. And he's like, "That's the question." Starts wiping the mug again. And just sits My it. guard might fail to answer it. <laughs> You're gonna be looking for a while then. Horizon doesn't have need of guards. <coughs> right. I'll be why those trees were. I don't know. Horizon's magic. Is that strong? Why were we attacked by trees and just Story herself had to come and help us? Wow, magic. And then he, he turns around and he's like, Maybe you've had enough to drink today, friend. I've not had a drop. Maybe you need a drink. And he goes and picks that mug back off the shelf and <laughs> 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 goes and just pours you a mug of ale and says, You, you need this more than, more than I do. And just slides it across the do. table, or the, the, the yeah, bar, yeah. So you got a free mug of ale. <laughs> cool. Why not ask him how do we get to the palace? How do, yeah, how can we get to the palace then? Need an appointment with the princess. Yeah, how would one get an appointment with the princess? How would one get another appointment with the princess? He kind of like smirks at that. As if I'm, I see your game, I see it. You know, I'll I'll, I'll buy into your your crazy story, Mister Mister Half Elf. And he's like, it's about races, but okay, carry on. If you uh, if you had a, an appointment the first time, why don't you just do that again? How did you get your first appointment with the princess? It was delivered as a letter. Ah. So you were invited? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, just slowly <laughs> nods. picture Eric in the background, like, just shouting from the back where we're keeping him from, like, making any, like... <laughs> what the fuck? Any mess, he's like, you! Yeah. <laughs> and, <just> <laughs> <laughs> and the... The old dragonborn man is like... Hmm... All appointments have to go through the royal office. It's in the main plaza. Just find the gate, go through it. And just start. Why do I not think that's going to be so easy? Just find the just gate. Just out of curiosity, does right. my bracelet thing have any sort of like, I don't know, royal sign on it? Royal 
sigil royal so you've seen Justoria's royal Justoria. sigil right so you've seen that because it was on all your letters it was like the wax seal on all of them yeah uh, no your bracelet has things like a random blue shell or oh, okay. a couple Never of nails understand. that are like folded together a piece of cork. I just thought it might be a really cool thing if I if it happened to have that because I'd be like, look! No, this is like, a, it kind of looks like something like a peasant child would put together as a lucky bracelet. <laughs> Nothing like my royal ring. Aww. That is a symbol of royalty. Ah, yeah, Wayne, kiss your royal ring. <laughs> gluck, 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 gluck. Um, <laughs> you're, you're not here, Crumbar. You went and followed the orc lady, remember? It's lost now. Oh, he's getting right. laid. One or two. <laughs> and he might just have went to another part of the inn, so... Probably fine. <laughs> Probably fine. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Probably. Um, so yeah, like, Royal Office, in the main plaza is what he says to you. Let's go. I've got a plan. <laughs> Everyone's so convinced. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine Aaron looking at me with like the most unimpressed face ever. <laughs> like, it's just the camera spins from the bar where everybody except Crumbar and you are standing to face you, and it's Crumbar collapsed halfway up the stairs, and you're sat at the table with all these collapsed drunk people around you, and that was your first plan. So your second plan <laughs> needs a bit more work on the selling. No, no, we're not selling anything on the second one. It's five finger discount this time. Well, sort of. More information gathering. I require Kitty. <laughs> <sighs> okay. I just sort of get up from the table, like, what do you want? So, in the information office uh, that we're off to, maybe you could sneak around and, like, bump us up the order somehow while we distract. Well, seeing as I grew up in here, I might know people that can do things, like move people upon lists, maybe. Mm. Is everyone else okay with this shady idea? Definitely. I'll have to call in some favours. Don't look happy about this. Yeah. Well, do they recognise you? No. Well, I could have been disguising myself like this before. Because, yeah. you know, you never know. People mm -hmm. freak out when they see you. More. I can imagine you've got a uh, a giant, like, half elf. Are you a half elf or full elf? Full wood elf. Okay. You've got a wood elf bobble head that you put on your head. <laughs> <laughs> and that was your disguise. Uh Okay. So how am I going to go about finding people? What do I need to roll? I mean, you tell me what you're looking for. Right? So... Bob the Dwarf. Princess Gestoria. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's in the palace. So... <laughs> there you go, sorted. We need to find people to smuggle us in. Or... That might be a bad... That, that could be... Plan C. Plan B is to uh, go to a registry office or whatever it is and uh, distract the guy with some inane nonsense as Kitty goes in and uh, slides us up the list. I, I but put us on the list as something else like, I don't know, trading or some of that, trading officials with another city or some of that. So, mm -hmm. so it sounds good, but it's totally innocuous. Yeah, don't just list yourself as those folk who. Uh you know, might get you into trouble. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you're looking for what, like, an official then, Kitty? Yeah. Okay. So, probably difficult to get an audience with them in the first place in general. So, let's see. It's probably a charisma check. Yeah, and you don't really have any charisma. No, it's not that. It's more just the... Uh, <laughs> it'd be different if there was a story point to spend, does that mean? Yeah. Yeah. 
How about... Yeah, pretty much is that. Like, I think performance we, we, is it not? Or no? Not really. It's not really performance because she's not like performing. If that makes sense, it's not like a a show of some kind. Um, or history. Hmm. No, it's it would just be her ability to be social, right? To try and see what she would have done. Because this is a role to have determined what she would have been good at in the past and now. If that makes sense, it's quite a an interesting one, because she's not lying to people to get her way. She's trying to say, I could have had a contact in the past. Um, yeah, so she's trying to remember who that contact mm. is, the best one. No, she's trying to get that contact from me just now. That's what she's trying to do, only retroactively. It's not remembering someone, it's knowing them in the first place. She can't right. just, there is no connect skill in this game, uh, and she doesn't have any story points to spend to buy somebody. So <laughs> to buy some. Yeah. Well, let's face it. That, that is what they're for. They're narrative currency, right? So you go, yeah. cool. Can I just have had a cool buddy? I could have had a. I could have had a slave this whole time. <laughs> I mean, what were you training Eremos for, right? That's just a food good point. For the first monster we met. <laughs> <laughs> Yeet. Into the abyss. Um, yeah, what a different campaign that would have been. Think how pissed off Magna would have been chucking his spear into the abyss. Um, <laughs> he might have had to go close it. Who knows, right? Yeah. Oh dear, crazy. Um, although it seems like your story might have been happy with that outcome. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think he did actually have anybody that would be high up enough, put it that way, in um, Horizon to do what you need to do, which is essentially magically manipulate the records to get to see Justoria under like a false kind of guise. Yeah. I don't think you've got I'm the clout to do that. Or at least you, you didn't have. have yeah. Influenced by Char. Um, there's, there's nothing to say that um, you couldn't try and do that to people you don't know, but that isn't like you don't have an in. Yeah. Um, definitely not. Like I would normally have put that at disadvantage, but because you have this place in your backstory, that that was mm. nebulous memory between us, then yeah, that's why it was wasn't with um, disadvantage for that role. But yeah, beyond that, no. Like maybe you try and think of people, and maybe like you work through the list of people you knew in Horizon. You're like that guy's too shady. This guy's too standoffish. Just not a very nice person to. Plus the people you the people you'd have been looking for might have been people to help you with your current like biological problem, right? More than yeah, more than anything else than. It wouldn't really be collect people of influence that way. It would have been collect magic people that might be able to do yeah. what you want. But yeah. then obviously you never, but then you never got anywhere with your problem solving. So you never found the right people. Yeah, so it's like just chuck that contact away. Pah, they were useless. <laughs> yeah, or you probably stole from them and left. Right, took what yeah. you needed and left. That sounds a bit more like the kitty I know. Um, yeah. So you probably didn't keep a lot of people friendly. No. Given that. But not enough to the point where they would want to track you down. Because you yeah. never like totally messed up that charisma check. It's just not good enough to have got what you wanted. But it's not bad enough to have got people wanting you. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, you're back in town. Yeah. You owe me this. <laughs> like, oh, no. used to Any be chance of Eric kind of <laughs> having a cross city <laughs> pals? <laughs> um, someone might know my name, my family name. I mean, you could probably just walk up to the, the royal office with your name, right? Yeah, probably. But, but what are you offering them? Uh, minus 1.9, so... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, technically I'll have change if somebody gave them two gold, so... <laughs> Not a lot of change, like it's really not, No, but it's maybe enough to get a meal if you're going to starve, so... I have rations. I do indeed. And your um, cultist backpack. Yes, and my book. <laughs> yep. I'll bet with him. I'll like, if you can open his book. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Why is your solution? Are you just like some rich guy that's got like a gambling fix he needs to like sort <laughs> out as well? Okay, so. That makes a lot of sense. The only thing is, though, right? So here's the thing. You wanted Kitty to do it so that you could hide under like a, a, a pseudonym, essentially. But. 
If Eric's doing it, you're doing it because Eric's name has weight. Right? Yeah. So, you could do that, but it's the total opposite plan of why he's wanted Kitty to do it. But Eric could yes. go up and be like, so, I'm Lord Rainwood. I would like an audience with Doria to discuss, and then you have to put something justifiable in that blank space. Hmm. To just discuss trade with Horizon and from whatever city you're with. It does work, because the family is heavily into the trading business. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do this. Mm-hmm. I love that idea that you go, oh, I never I went on an amazing adventure with random idiots to do work. Damn it, right? Okay, it's time to go to work. <laughs> so, it's cool with this plan. But then, at least it gives them some kind of deniability, right? Because if you're saying, oh, it is for trading reasons between the House of Rainwood and, you know, Horizon. Yeah. What's the mm. thoughts? Yeah, I think, I think we so should go it. for that route because mm-hmm. yeah. it's it's more logical. He is he's a trader, so it's not like he. And actually, uh, being a noble helps, right? Like that is a thing he's having the party. <laughs> Although I don't have a squalor pedigree anymore, which is a bit. Yeah, I know. There'll, there'll be a spare one at home. It's fine. <laughs> Just keep printing another another birth certificate and such. Yeah. Um you got that ring though, right? I do. So I mean Oh no it's Yeah. What ring? My house ring. Oh right. I was like, you got the ring? I have the one ring, yes. <laughs> Bequeathed by his family. Yeah. <laughs> Let me load this up and see what you've got on your sheet. Probably the item of clothing. Yeah, it's the only thing that just stayed on the entire time. Yeah. <laughs> yep. That's why rings are one of the best magic items, because so rarely do you take them off to sleep. So, you're going to go talk to this guy then? Yeah, that's the plan. Right, okay, so... Let's go with... I mean, are you going to actually set up trade with Horizon? Do you actually have anything to trade with Horizon? Because I'm deciding it's probably Back Deception, right? Yeah, it's probably Deception. Like, and it's not absolute bullshit, because they could check who you are and be like, oh, there is a guy in Glitterhagen with that name and that, you know. Mm. I'm here on official business. But you're not actually trying to set up trade here because you don't actually have anything to do that unless you were willing to then sign away stuff. Yeah, and I can't remember what I've got. So, I don't know what your family traded in. We never discussed that. So We did not. So. They were just in the <laughs> trading industry. Um, Cold <laughs> items. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Um, so, how about you give me a a deception check, unless you're going to sign away parts of your estate, and it can be a persuasion check then. Mm. I'm the head of the household. to give him a little bit. <laughs> mm. Well, this would be in Eric's head, right? Because Eric knows he could be like, well, I could just say anything and they'll let me do it because I'm a lord. Or, you can buy, I can actually maybe attempt to make money here, dot dot dot, we saw how well that went. <laughs> huh. Have a, right, so you have a wee think about that just now, Callum, right? You have a wee think about that, and uh, Crumbar, do you follow the uh, mysterious orc lady upstairs? Yes, I do. <laughs> Crumbar's oh half cup. Cool. Um, roll perception. Uh, percept. It will be a disadvantage yeah. if you've got exhaustion. Uh, yeah, it's still good. Percept. Oh god, this is going to be terrible. Cool. First, first room you go into it is not her. <laughs> okay, it I continue on yep. and try another room. Can you then give me a constitution saving throw, just normally, no disadvantage. 
Boop. Cool. So, um, yeah, while you use, um, like, Kitty spends a couple of hours looking around, obviously, the city for contacts and whatnot. Um, Eric does the same, um, in the sense of trying to find his way to this, uh, royal office. Crumbar and, uh, this, uh, Lady Orc have, uh, some constitution saving throws of 16. <laughs> off camera. <laughs> 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 You're welcome, bro. Yay! So you can remove a level of exhaustion and then get a level exa of exhaustion. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Um, no, can you roll charisma for me just normally? Just as a saving yep. throw? No, no just, just just click on charisma itself. Yeah. Just charisma itself. Wow! You do not get her name. <laughs> oh! One night stand. <laughs> Damn yeah, it! You, your head uh, clears enough for you to maybe be thinking, maybe I should go find out where everybody else went, and then yeah, just stop yeah. and leave. Yeah. All culture. I just want to know why there's another arc there rather than. Mm. Maybe we um, can explore that. Maybe we can add that to Crumbar's list of things to suss out. So is, is, what is she just kind of like done the like left me sleeping and done the bus? Yeah. Did she pull a coyote ugly on me? <laughs> <laughs> if you'd done better on your perception check, you might have saw the coyote tattoo on her hip. But uh... <laughs> <laughs> all right. And obviously, um, given the size of her eight foot orcness, you know it was a full on coyote. All, all right then. Yeah, I want to I want to pursue this more. I want to know who this this is. Right. Well, we can maybe do that when you sober up a bit more. So. Okay. Eric. Um. Or in fact, if, yeah. If you got something else you want to add there, come back, carry on. Yeah. So I guess I just kind of. The room's trashed. Up, it's yeah, trashed. We, yeah. Wake up and just kind of be like, well, let's go find people then, and just kind of. Head out. Do you go down and like apologize for the state of the room or do you just leave? Huh. I just leave. <laughs> get dressed! I, 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 obviously, I get dressed. <laughs> you didn't say it. <laughs> I think, though, you being the cautionary tale. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Walk around with his third leg out like, jeez. <laughs> uh, just that line the hammer is my penis from. Um, that uh, <laughs> musical, yeah. Uh, Doctor Horrible. That's the one. Yup. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, outside, you reconvene with the party. I mean, yeah. I don't think we'll make you roll for that. I just feel like narratively it makes more sense that you just turn up looking a bit sheepish. <laughs> and then we decide if Eric's come up with it or not. So, I will actually. I'm just going to lie. Because the rest of the stuff, I'm just like, well, now I have to del delve into a load of stuff. Weirdly, Why? I always Where feel like, get the resources? like we're always in this position, aren't we here, Callum? Like where I ask, is Eric going to be honest about this or lie about this? Remember when uh, he's in like the underbelly of Horizon and that thing was choking out just hey, area? And you're I'm like, honest. do I do I lie to it or do I agree? Because you said that, remember, back then that what you actually lied, remember? Because Initially, yeah. <laughs> Because you were <laughs> the thing was, you said, "Can you kill her after we use her?" Um, <laughs> and I was like, "Are you lying to her, or do you mean that?" Because that's gonna really flavor how this goes. And then you're like, "Okay, no, I'm kidding." I'm like, "Okay, cool. It knows you're fucked." Nah, twelve, five d twelve damage. Enjoy. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so you're gonna go I'm lie to her. Okay, yep. okay. Give me a deception check. Sweet Oof. talking. Oof. Sweet, sweet gods. lies. Tell me lies, tell me sweet little lies. Yeah. Indeed. There we go. Yeah, I think you guys have been bumped up the list a bit. So, yeah. Nice. You, um, these are all put into like a, a waiting room, I guess, unless you want to meet her alone, Eric. Because that's really on you now. You get to make that call. 
Ooh. Yeah. Hmm. Because you don't turn well, up with like an entire thing. like ensemble. You go in. I mean, the my the my guard. The, the, they they look after me. They're my bodyguards. I mean, that's the role play within the role play going on here. Uh, I see. I see. Uh, some some stuff within the stuff. I get it. But if that was the case, you wouldn't take your guards into a deal. Hmm. Mm -hmm. But you tell me what you uh, Eric is thinking. Yeah, like what what did mm. Eric put it across as like me and my fellow lawyers need to discuss yeah, associates. <laughs> I mean we could be like hired bodyguards. Exactly, yeah. They're just by hired hired bodyguards. I guess it would be technically allowed them to meet instead they'd have to stay. At least that's what I'd be like as Eric because it could just be your trading business partners, right? Like it's more just a case of I mean, did you, did look you... at them. <laughs> there's, there's two golden order paladins there. <laughs> that's true. Uh, we have like a rogue that is like armed to the teeth, I imagine, with a giant backpack. Yep. And um <laughs> We got a random druid with a bird. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. So if anyone would go in, I feel like Kitty would, because she seems like the one that would be more trading than the two armored paladins and the druid who likes to be outside, stereotypically. Keep in mm -hmm. mind, the monk, who is a paladin of the Golden Order, just wears robes. So. Ooh, I could take them two, and then the other two could stay outside. So you're taking Reach and K? Yes. Okay. I don't want to overcrowd the room or make it seem like I'm overcrowding trying to smuggle everyone in. Okay. So you've left Crumbar and Arya outside. Is Crumbar yes. and Arya okay with this? I mean, Crumbar would be. He still wants to keep an eye on her and he feels like shit. I've, like, after the, um, you know, Zero Dark Orc Lady. Uh, the he's kind of let his duty slip because he's like shit. I should really have been keeping an eye on her. So now he's like watching her like a hawk, <laughs> just head on his shoulder, looking into it. Yeah, I was thinking, I I say still anything, him up. Yeah. <laughs> but as they leave, right? Mm -hmm. I lift my hand and kind of like shake my wrist, like shake my hand a little bit, kind of showing like. Look who she decided to trust out of all of you. Should yeah, but now, now look who's the mistress of flame. There's a good reason to leave you. And Kumba, if if Kumba came along and he spurt, spurted it out, maybe she doesn't. Maybe she doesn't know this. Who knows? Yeah, to be honest, like maybe with her so weird so. like magic thing, she knew before before we did. But who knows now? Maybe she's not even really Justoria. Oh, levels. Oh, good. <laughs> so it's a, a new level of tinfoil hat. It's a tinfoil top hat Crumbar's got now. <laughs> Very Get dead. me reaching key. Cool. Um, yeah, you are just led into like a, a, I guess like a waiting room. Um, and again, very fancy, that smell of spice in the air, etc. Um, and there's an attendant that just stands by the doors. Um, very, very quiet. Veiled face, etc. Could he go get me a drink? Uh, she could if you asked her to. She. Oops. Assumptions. Excuse me, miss. Can I get a refreshment of water, please? Um, she got like her kind of hands kind of bowed in those big sleeves so that you can't actually see them. They're all kind of like clasped in front of her. Um, she just kind of nods ever so slightly. She got like kind of purple. Purple robes with like kind of all kind of gold designs, all kind of like scattered over them, and um, they seem to like move and shimmer as if the light hits them, you know. Um, and as she nods, the uh, table in front of you just has a, a big fancy crystal carafe of water that appears, and nice. some crystal kind of goblets. Pour one for me. Do you two want some water? Yeah, why not? Yeah. Cool. I'll pour one for Reach. <laughs> Do you want one, Kitty? I'm good, thank you. I shall pour one for you and then take it for me. 
Now we have two cups and two hands. Uh huh. How long do we have to wait? Wow. Yeah. A while. Yeah, so do you talk about anything in the room then? Do you talk about the other two? Or. I mean, I know why I left them. Well, they know why I left them. Mm. Yeah, well, if you don't talk about anything in specific. It's a good reason. Yeah. yeah that's it gives, feels this, gives, it makes us free to let Justoria know everything she needs to know. Mm. Needs to know. Yeah. Well, yeah. do you talk about what she needs to know then? You sure I can censor? Like, <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't want to speak so? about much with the attendant there. We don't yeah. want, um, like, a pair of ears that we don't know mm -hmm. saying something. Of course. Yeah, and um, after like maybe, it's probably even at least at least an hour of waiting. At least, um, it's maybe even closer to two or three. Um, does Crumbar and Arya do anything in two to three hours of waiting outside? So I mean, up and develop I'd a still hangover. be trying to to figure out, like in my head, like what could have meant by Mistress of Flame, you know. So I'm probably mm. just quietly mulling that over and trying to figure out what the hell it could mean, you know, thinking of anything I know of, like the idea of somebody mastering flame, mistress of flame, you know, mm -hmm. any sort of knowledge I might have on that, so that's probably what I'd be doing, like, in my head. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, you do have things like produce flame as well, so is there any, like, element of you, like, playing with fire in your hand or something as well? Do you really I mean, think that's I'm a good idea to do that? Well, me? Yeah, that, that, that's exactly what I in and out of character would know that is not smart to do around Crumb right Yeah, now, I mean, so. I just like for me as well, like if I was called Mistress of the Flame and I could make fire, I would totally just make fire and stare at it to be like, well, I've got nothing yeah. else here. <laughs> but that's obviously like it makes yeah, sense as well if you're a bit too cautious against the guy that's like, yeah. why? <laughs> not just, but like, I'd probably be a bit afraid of my own skills right now. Mm -hmm. Like, what if doing that now that I have this bow? Now that I've, uh, um, I want to say bond with the bow, but you know what I mean. Like once yeah. I've uh, that one, um, I, I I don't want to be like you know my usual. I start a little fire and then, you know, suddenly with all this happening, when I intend a little fire, I end up like burning down the entire city. You know, so part of me is like, I don't know what this does. I don't know who I am. You know, that's sort of like, mm -hmm. you know, identity sort of crisis. But uh, um, you know. In a quiet, hidden, let's not freak out the big impulsive man way. Mm -hmm. Understandable, yeah. So, Crumbar, what about yourself? Are you just kind of sat, kind of watching over Arya, or what's. I'd be just kind of sat watching over Arya and kind of keeping on looking at checking over her bow and things like that. Um, yeah, so Zarya, are you holding the bow, or is it still like on your back or whatever? It would be on my back, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, mine. Mm. Mine. Hmm. Like, just just keep like looking at it, seeing if it's like in that I've seen before. Um, probably ask Arya a couple of questions. Like, probably first one would be like, so, can you still hear the demon? No, it disappeared. Do you know of any way you can get it back? No, I mean, I don't even know what it meant by, by calling me Mr. Silver Flame. Like, you sure you got that translation right? Trust me, I'm very good when it comes to Infernal. Okay, because obviously I don't speak that language, so if if it actually had anything to do with me, I would have thought it would be, you know, something that at the very least speaks in a language I, I would know, you know, if I had any connection to it, but I don't know what, I don't know why it targeted me. I think at this point, yeah, as I think it, like, after seeing that, like, I just stare at you really hard, it's like... Exactly. 
Why you then? I mean, I know, because obviously he would have known by now as well. You would have seen me, like, make little fires and whatever for the camp and everything. I'll, I'll mm. be saying, like, well, I know I can make fire, but does is that what it meant? Like, maybe it was just, it just identified which one of us can, can make fire and, and suddenly thought that person is its boss somehow. I, I don't know. I would very much like to find out more about this, but you know we're we're kind of stuck out here. I think at this point, like Crumbar's maybe calmed down a bit. He's not so you know hot-headed and yeah, like things and it's less like... likely to kill me. Good. <laughs> mm, well, yeah, right. Less so less likely, not less, less likely to kill you right now. Um, yeah. That's still progress. Still my, feel for me? My, my feelings are still mixed on this. I don't know how to trust you right now. But we, sh we, can we will look for this knowledge together. Yes, absolutely. I'd like to, to know more about it, but I don't feel like I've changed in any way. So I don't know what's going on here, but yeah, I definitely want to find out more about this. The more we find out, the better my judgment will become. But don't do anything that uh, will get you in trouble. Basically just kind of Hinting that yeah, if you do it, if like if it turns out that you are lying, like yeah, I'm a I'm a hammer you in the face with hammer. I just sorry, I love the scene of don't do anything that'll get you in trouble. Harsh cut to broken in room, you know, harsh cut back. <laughs> <laughs> I lift the eyebrow and in my head I'm like, you know, kind of thinking, well, you can try that and you might find yourself so slashed by a bear. <laughs> so. But just, you know, in my head, I was like... Mm. Yeah, internal monologue for Arya being like, I will bear yeah. all the fuck out of you. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> if you try. Uh, obviously, as well, we've still got a lot of time for their... Yeah, you've got about, say, about like two, two yeah. three hours, yeah. Yeah, two, three hours. So what I'm thinking is, I'm like, all right, fine. Let's try and see how we can help. Can I try teaching... A uh, area, some infernal. Yeah, well, hundred yeah. percent, totally. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, cool. So, like, for like the next like few hours, like, I just be like, well, it'll be this best is fire. if you, you know, this is <laughs> yeah, it's that kind of way. It's like, well, it will probably help then if you actually know what you're being, if uh, what this thing is saying to you next time. Yeah. So. Yeah, I'll just sit down and yeah. Try and give me a fair enough. Give me a perf. I guess yeah. You're trying to like convey this, so you're performing, and I guess she's performing. So do you want to give me the performance? You're at disadvantage still because of the exhaustion, though. Um, but this can be an ongoing yeah. thing. Um, it doesn't Fucking need to just be orc like sex. Yeah, uh, performance. Did you say yeah? Yeah, and it was orc sex, but yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. And but I mean that's too, right? actually, that's actually probably good though because I mean if you're like you're getting taught like a new language, you'd be like the fuck? And if an orc's trying to teach you a language, it's like like oh you know well blah, 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 means this. Like, are are you actually trying this. to teach me or are you just still angry at everything? Yeah. Yeah, that's part of me is wondering if he's actually teaching me the swear words. Like, <laughs> you know, like or, or is that kind of way it's like Oh, well, you know, well, and I just start speaking in Infernal and just expect her to understand. Uh -huh. <laughs> just because I'm like, but but I'm I'm teaching you, but I'm I'm telling you what they mean. It's like, yeah, but that that that's not how you do it. Wait, let's see how this goes in. Crumbar, give me the the roll for performance the disadvantage just now. And obviously, once you've rested, we can uh, maybe try this again. I've done it. I, I got sick. Can everybody else see that? Because I can't. Nope. Nope. He's lying. Um. Why not? Oh, 
Why You're is... not lying though, but yeah. Uh, what the fuck? I got another 25, what? Roll it a third time for I me. I don't believe you. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just um, gonna... I'm just gonna re close down and open up row 20 again. Yep, third uh, time's not the charm. Yeah. <laughs> we were thinking about hacking though, that's why. <laughs> Hacks! <laughs> yeah, no, I've seen weirder things happen in this, don't worry. Yeah. Although, was it, was it the ten guys in a row in the abyss that just all got ones? And I'm like, what, what, yes. how? How am I so bad? Right. <laughs> it was oh, bad. so... Let's try this. Yeah. I think I figured out why it rolled again. I, like, it was highlighted and I sort of pressed my speaker. Um. <laughs> Did okay, that that's one? not bad. Uh, yeah. Arya, do you want to give me a performance oh, no, check as well? Okay, Just normal. One, <laughs> it's the one I can see. So. Performance. Yep, performance yeah, normally. Yep. Sure. Cool. No, that makes sense, right? So, yeah. Crumbar teaches you, like, what... Like, he obviously tries to teach you, I guess, like, hello, my name isn't to the Mistress of the Flame, or something basic, do you know what I mean? Well, um, I, think, I, yeah. think that's, I think that's where I would start, is what he... Teach her what he was... At, like, that thing was yeah. actually saying to her. You know, it's, like, it's like when you roll your tongue this way and it sounds like five logs burning in a fire instead of two hmm. logs burning in a fire. That is the present tense. <laughs> yeah, some horrible way of teaching Infernal to someone. And then, yeah. yeah. And put it this way, Combar does seem, you know, a bit wearied from A, his experiences with you in general because of the whole Mistress of the Flame thing. That seems to just come across as maybe stress. But he does seem to be on the ball for this, right? He does seem to know his shit when it comes to Infernal. Mm -hmm. However, because it does seem to like your, your memory is good enough that you remember what the thing said to you. It's probably burnt into your mind, no pun intended. And <laughs> the like, what he's saying is almost perfect, you know. So you can tell that he clearly knows what he's talking about, even if you're not quite able to mimic it yet. But we will have a teaching Infernal tracker. On the go, because it is probably going to be super useful. Um, Yay! But that's not bad, especially exhausted. Um, uh, so we'll put one mm. success on that tracker for now. Oh, just pretty good. So these are bonding through the distrust. It's good. Um, <laughs> meanwhile, with the other group, right? So with the other group, these are in the room. Kind of, I don't know, maybe getting a bit fed up, waiting, because is that where we're like, we want to talk about what we're wanting to talk about, but we don't want to do it when this random attendant is here. So, yeah, the, um, maybe, very possibly. Um, but yeah, the, what do you call it? It's the word you're looking for. The attendant uh, just moves to open the doors um, and, and walks just Doria. Um, do you stand? Do you stay seated? Where are you standing? Stand. Bow. Yeah. Stand. It's a princess. You stand for a princess. I'm still sat down. Mm -hmm. Wow. I kicked you in the shin. I'm not standing up. And then, so she walks in, and she has a very like polite, put-on face, as you can probably imagine. Like you can tell she's doing that thing where her teeth are gritted, but she's smiling. And um, she looks at the attendant and just puts like a hand on her shoulder. And then, like the woman leaves the room. The story does that thing where she waves her hand over her shoulder, and the doors close behind her. And she just looks at everyone, and she says, "There has been a development." And then she just looks do, do, straight. Do, do, do. She looks straight at um, Eric, and she just casts magic straight onto Eric. Magic. Yes. Magic. So make him more polite. As 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 our. Like uh, any, do I look like that now? You turn your robes turn blue instead of red. Um, as that happens <laughs> in the kind of cloud of smoke, she says, "The red has taken flight from the north." And mm. we'll take our break there. So we will be back in ten minutes. So about half past mm. nine. Um, I will yeah, see you guys good. then. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.